Greetings there, fellow farmers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City, episode 26, Yayo Farming. I would like, if uh, manpower allowing... Okay, Stormguard, you come out here. I would like to get the garage door and the walls replaced uh, so that we have sort of like a holding area. Uh, Redfield and Zeus are in a very wreck deprived, so I'm not going to ask them to do much at all for now, just because it's been brutal in, with Stormguard's absence. That's the problem, is we have such a small community population that, like, the absence of anyone is really felt hard. Alright, the other thing I wanted to do is to... let's not remove all of them at once. That's going to cause a roof collapse. But, um... I'm going to replace these with stone. This uh, moisture pump is already spread out to its adjacent cells, so we can put stone in there and it'll be fine. What do we have a lot of? Eh, we have a little bit of granite. I'll do it in granite, because granite's tough. Oh, I like the stockpile of steel. I like seeing that a lot. I don't care if she builds herself into the corner because I'm going to get rid of the last wooden wall anyway. It doesn't really matter to me. I think... Oh, it's already set to ignore roof area. We just didn't uh, actually remove the roof. That's a weird place for a hospital bed. Let's not leave them there. Hey, Orange Chaos! More zombies indeed! Welcome, friend, to the stream. Now, it's unfortunate that uh, I was really not able to do a lot of hunting. Let me check real quick that there's not, like, easy game nearby. So there's a bunch of donkeys down here. Maybe I'll try to kill them uh, right now. I'm gonna have... Stormguard, build that wall there with my remaining colonists. So, Guero, you are going to start building on this sandstone garage door. Everyone else is going to try to take a donkey out. Um, Trick, thank you for the, the gifted subs. Cheers. Thank you so very much. Squirrels and rats and guinea pigs aren't really fulfilling food-wise. They're not even worth the time for bullets, in my opinion. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, did the rat block you from building? It did, didn't it? Alright, trying to make the most of the low threat situation that we got going on right now. Zeus is acting as human bait. Fangface is in a relatively good mood, so I am risking his physical health joining us in the purge. MB Madison, thank you for the resub too. Alright, Stormguard, let's have you build this wall. Goro's already working on the garage door. Oh, please, don't turn around. So I need these zombies killed so that I can safely go over to the donkeys. Fine, stand here.
Well, they dropped quick. Guerrero's got that. Storm Guard's got that. Yep, we're making all the patches we need to make. Good. Good, good, good. Come on now. Just shoot him in the brainstem. I know he's wearing like a metal helmet, but do better. All right, Storm Guard's coming out to join. <sighs> Freaking rain, man. All of this rain makes it so hard to accurately shoot. Hopefully that cougar's gonna leave us alone too. So we have four people and five donkeys, so maybe what I'll do is help Guero grab the corpse of the last one. So everyone grabs one donkey. Which means I'm going to schedule everyone to be briefly unrestricted. Um, so that uh, I can freely haul. So Guero, I'm going to have you come over here. We'll patch that up um, later. Sorry, donks. No one calls them donks. Pretty dumb name, if you ask me, but I'm gonna call him Dunks. Sorry, Dunks. So, Fangface and Guero are grabbing one. Zeusin is grabbing one. Stormguard and Redfield are doing it now. Good. That should help keep us fed. Uh, I, oh, there are some deer up there. I might try to go for the deer as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because we are in a 20% threat situation, but zombies aren't getting added because there's so many that are trapped. So I can take advantage of the, the, the zombies that are trapped. And I also, I can just dump the, the donkeys here. They're not going to rot so quickly that I, you know, I'll, I'll just keep hunting real quick. So, we'll try to get some deer, too. Some venison. So there's three, four of them. That'll work. Fangface and Redfield are particularly slow from dementia, psycho withdrawal, and muscle parasites. Working with a little bit of a handicap disability, but hey, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Oh, man. Uh, Redfield might just, like, fall asleep standing up. Oh, there's actually, um, even better, there's yaks over here. That's gonna be even more meat per kill. So, because everyone else is so, like, dramatically tired, I am going to have them sit up. Redfield is gonna go to sleep. Fang face as well. After hauling the donkeys in. Good open volley. One down. Going for the second yak. It's a yak attack. I'm going to ambush it from the back. Oh! Tactics it lacks. Time for the smack. It's the yak shack. Exactly. One and two. Pretty decent amount of food for like last second uh, hunting.
Do you guys think I should... Oh, no, it rotted. Never mind. Well, all those zombies rotted pretty quick. Yep, everybody's exhausted. But honestly, it was worth it. We got a lot of really important stuff done right before the zombies started uh, ramping up. Pristine ruins found for eight days. Pristine ruins are the ones that are, like, really high value. Um... Okay, the garage zone is wrong. Close to... Oh, now it was close to base. Base with garage. Okay, I set them up wrong. We're good. Alright, well, we're back to having a meat supply, which is great. Uh, I know I have two donkeys down there. I will be hauling them. I just think people need to sleep desperately. So as far as um, anti-zombie tactics go, because that's what you guys uh, voted on, I think adding another zombie shocker down here for if and when they ever climb, uh, we can deal with them pretty quickly, would be wise. Uh, and then getting a thumper. Ooh, a zombie attack. Then getting a thumper somewhere... Um, Ideally, like, a thumper here, but the cables wouldn't reach. How far... I forget how far the cables have to reach for thumpers, but but getting a thumper, like, built around here um, with dead power as well, so we can flick it on and off to hypothetically draw zombies away from our gate. Maybe, maybe even up here would be better. Really far away from the gate. So in the latest zombie attack, I don't see specials. I'm going to do a quick scan to make sure there aren't any hidden specials anywhere. Tanks or albino or worse. And looking at the threat schedule, in about six days time, uh, there might be a chance, there might be a little window to go to that pristine ruin if we're really, really productive in purging zombies towards the end of that threat peak. Big maybe there, I'm not sure. Do we have enough supplies to produce the cure? We do. We have over 100 serum and we have uh, industrial meds. So we can cure it up. Uh, the, the, the thumper damages anything around it that is con constructed. So... Uh, I'll use it and you guys will see. It's not exactly the easiest, um, easiest device to hook up as a result. No, I said rest until healed. He immediately got out of bed. He's like, oh, you mean do whatever I want? Oh, no, you're doing whatever you want again. False. Incorrect. Stay the hell down. I'm using good meds on you. Okay, so now he should be at 260 or 257. Yeah. So his next tending could be even uh, herbal or worse, and he'll still be cured. What priority bed rest was he at? He was at three bed rest. He was clearly... But he's at one patient. So the fact that he wasn't listening at one patient, because he was the patient, is pretty funny. He's like, I don't want to. Oh. Stormguard hiding in a room, which is, uh, she really wasn't low mood, as far as I'm concerned. So, put me down as surprised. Oh man, what lovely amounts of free power here. Alright, so what else is in the truck? We've got regular meds, sniper rebel, components, chem fuel, herbal meds, um, wool. Year is coming. So, I'm trying to think of where to set up. Uh, so, the priority that you guys voted on 
was for some basic security. The other thing I could do is to put in uh, like uranium mini turrets in here uh, to to be able to flick on and off when we're trying to park. Because while we're, when, when we're parking, it's obviously a situation that is potentially quite dangerous as, um, you know, as zombies that are around are going to have to be dealt with. So, having some mini turrets, and I'll pull for that, but having some mini turrets in the sort of parking spot area might be wise in order to take a little pressure off. It's, uh, what I want to do is I want to put turrets in choke points and strategic locations that won't have to kill high volumes of zombies, because that's not what turrets do very well in this series. The other thing I was thinking of, in terms of um, zombie defenses, is once we have enough wood, it would be possible to roof up the sort of airlocked uh, walls and put a bunch of uh, wooden flooring down, and then with it all roofed up, we can always torch it. Light it on fire on purpose if there was ever some sort of wall breach and zombies were flooding through, as that would be a pretty... Uh, functional tactic to be able to deal with uh, with the high volume of zombies. They would, of course, run around on fire, so it's something probably best to wait on once all of my walls are made of stone. But uh, nonetheless, uh, useful. Oh, and speaking of which, we have dried out uh, a full lane all the way down here now, where we can, like, you know, where, where we can physically granite wall this entire area up uh, to have one contiguous stone wall, which is, uh, which is nice. Very nice. I just don't know. I actually might want to have it like this, as sketchy as that looks, because there won't really be blind spots. You won't have any zombies be able to, like, hug the wall and hide. Alternatively, uh, we can run the wall like that. That might even be better. And to relocate, like, like this. To relocate the wall. Um, yeah, I think I like that better. To relocate the wall, like, two units out. So that we have two walls here with a gap. And that gap could be rigged with uh, wooden floors. I think I like that more. But that was out of scope of the current project. So I'm not going to be working on that right now. But yeah, these moisture pumps have been expanding, and that's going to be useful. Really? You came out here to build one cable, and then you're just like, oh, time to sleep. Okay. You know best. You guys think I should add turrets to the entrance tunnel? So let's get that done as well. I'm going to do two of them. I'm not built. I'm just building them here and then reinstalling them, so we don't have to haul the the components um, super far. I'm also going to start um, farming cotton. I do think that, at least my preference... Well, hold on. I'll ask you first. Uh, should I try to deliver tribute to all factions that need it? So this is sort of a bigger tactical question that I, I touched on at the start of the stream. And it's whether or not we should try to keep the rough Outlander unions neutral or better. So that we don't have to fight hostile humans. So if we did allow the Frost Keepers of the Trojan Militia to become hostile, uh, there is a non-zero chance that they pod drop raid us. Where they drop straight into our base. And due to our colony's wealth, it's quite possible that they wipe the colony. 
right? We don't have overwhelming military force. We don't have a crazy amount of turrets behind our walls. We don't really have a good way of defending ourselves against pod drop raiders. The defense against pod drop raiders would be digging into the mountain and fortifying an area within the mountain and then slowly moving everything that's outside into the mountain, except for maybe our water um, access, because I don't think there's wells uh, in the mountain. Maybe there's deep wells in the mountain, though. Um, so, you know, it's possible that, like, way down the line, we decide to go to war with the Trojan Militia, the Frost Keepers, the two sort of hostile bandit-like factions of the world. But, like, at least for now, we probably wouldn't survive it, if I'm going to be honest. They would probably pod drop raid with, like, three, four, maybe five times our population. And there's just, I, there's just not a situation I see us survive, like, walking away from that. So... Um, yeah, that's food for thought. And then, um, if so, I could try to plant cotton in order to make trade goods for sale. As that would be a double-edged sword, it would have Guero leveling up his crafting as he's making dusters or whatever it is. And, uh, it would have the plant tenders that like crop tending, that, that have a passion for it, uh, continue their passion for it, so... You know, it would have a little bit of uh, an advantage to our own crafters. A little bit of a dangerous situation, they're breaching the walls again. So, time to clear some out. Oh, a new area is revealed. Uh, probably from fires? Ah, oh, yeah. It's like a, a barracks up in the mountain. You're hungry. Stormguard is cathartic now. Good. Hey, Stormguard. How about you join Redfield? And Zeus and join? There's kind of a lot of zombies, and... I don't want Redfield dealing with it by, by his lonesome. Oh yeah, that fire is ripping through that area now. In this case, it wasn't even the miners revealing a lot, it's the fire burning the steel walls. Opening up. So Guero's already working on plain leather dusters. Uh, as that is probably the best thing that we can do trade good wise. It, it's also possible to um, uh, So it looks like you do want to deliver tribute. What sort of tribute? We could do dusters or drugs One or the other I could grow psychoid leaves turn it into flake or yayo uh, For money or I could grow cotton and turn it into dusters um, drugs are probably physically easier to mass produce. Dusters would have Guero, uh, work on his crafting skill. I don't really care. One way or the other. So, two and a half minutes to vote on that. Redfield is literally starving, so I think we can have him rest. No, don't eat that direction. Trust me, you're never going to be able to put it. Well, actually, you know, I could have them ignore danger and then eat. Or click. I think if I force click meals, they'll like ignore and eat. Also, it seems like uh, Stormguard still has advanced component and regular components on her from her deployment. And I haven't yet opened up T-Axis either, which I could do. Maybe I'll do that. Helps with the recreation. T is pretty quick to take. As long as uh, Fangface ain't trying to shovel it into his mouth. So as far as garage doors go, 4x4 four four is the... Or 1x4, rather, is the smallest we can go. Uh... So, 
I'm trying to think of if I was to have a drug area. Let's say we have a drug area. I'm going to start digging it out. You guys take a break. There are so many zombies out there. We've been shooting all day long, and there's like still just more of them because the uh, the threat is peaking. All right, overwhelmingly, I think you guys want drugs. Yep. Uh, what drugs? Smoke leaf, Yale flake. That is, I think, the drugs likely the ones we will mass produce. So. I won't plant just yet. I'll have you vote. Oh, some auto doors. If they survive the burn. For components. We're doing pretty good at components, though. And then Stormguard, while you're sleeping, I'm going to have you magically drop your stuff. I might need to adjust the tailoring bills to not use the wool. Wool is going to obviously be best for toques for warmth more than like dusters. So let's make sure, yeah, don't use walls. Enough stealing components for some nice miniguns. Yes, yes. Once we have uh, minigun research done, uh, I can pull you guys whether or not you want me to commit to that. I suspect because you voted on it as a research project, you will want me to commit to it, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna call this poll early. It looks like Yayo is gonna be the the drug of choice. We're going to be drug suppliers. Very ethically gray, you guys. Uh, I don't mind. I, I, I kind of like it. And I'm going to have storm guards start helping out uh, around the farm as well. Where I was getting the mini turrets constructed. And I have this area just blocked off access through forbidden walls. So that, or forbidden doors rather. Because that area is not safe at the moment. Although, I want to try something. It's probably I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, Guero. Have you come down here? Yes. See, it's like a, a coup de gras uh, mercy killing when we use the zombie shocker, where they don't really fight back. Which makes it easy to clear out a room if we have enough, like, people with uh, blades. Because you can just send them in there and and slice up all the zombies real quick. Kind of nice. No, oh, we have a healer zombie, I think. Uh, and I should do considering the current population. So we have two tox zombies. I'm just going to make sure there aren't any specials I need to be aware of. Another tox zombie. I don't hear tankies. I don't see albinos. Scandia, thank you for the resub. Man, 41 months. Holy cow. And Trustin, too. Hey, man. How's it going? Your, uh... Your subject matter of your YouTube videos have, uh... Have pretty significantly changed in the last month, I've noticed. <laughs> Being one of your subs and all. 
Mr. Trustin. Garage door needs to be one wider, so I can install shockers next to the garage doors. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. We could always revisit our, our current projects. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do, actually, is with the moisture pumps expanding outwards, is to run our um, granite walls like this. You know? To sort of cut off access to this pocket here entirely, uh, but that means that I could do a shocker here or something, because shockers have, like, a, a range. So, you know, that's something that will actually be ad uh, addressed at some point, once I have the, like, time and energy to address it. And yeah, the, the point of um, supplying Yeo is to offer it to the warlords, uh, not for personal in ingesting. Or even for profit. We're just going to be giving it as tribute to warlords for the most part. So that they don't come and murder us in our sleep. Because, I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't like being murdered in my sleep. I haven't tried it, and I, I've been told, don't knock it until you try it. But that seems to be one of those things you can only try once. You know, like eating death cap mushrooms or hugging a box jellyfish. Like, some things just kind of aren't worth doing once. And I imagine... Um, being eaten by zombies in your sleep is probably amongst them. I do find it rather curious that we... Oh, Jesus. At least it's raining. Uh, that we haven't had more special zombies. Because last stream, uh, the zombie threat was even lower. And we had, like, swarms of tankies. Tank operators that were, like, trying to eat my face. I don't mind. Sure is a lot of zombies, though. While everyone's working, Guerrero's just taking a nice, hot, long shower. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, yes. This is the life. I am a, uh... I object to guns, and therefore, my life is soft and sweet. That's what Guerrero's thinking. All right, Mr. Fang, you are having a minor break, so get out. Go get yourself whatever you want, and don't have a mental break. So these mini turrets are uh, ready to be reinstalled in location once I have access to it, which I currently don't. We're kind of blocked off at the moment. Threat is sort of like holding above 50% for a long while. So I'm just trying to keep the numbers low enough that they don't swarm. But, like, I don't think it's all that realistic that we, um... Uh, that we actually do enough damage to these zombies to, uh, to have respite. Oh, speaking of which, a zombie attack. Rude. Okay, Redfield needs his medical treatment. I'm gonna have Redfield and Zeus and go back. Stormguard needs food. So I'll have her eat. I love how I can actually just click the button and she'll eat. And I don't have to change the like uh, rules of engagement, which is really nice. All right, this should cure Redfield. Provided the 10 qualities above 43%, I think. Yep, he's cured. Now, Zeusin has been required to do a lot of shooting, which means I've not made a lot of progress on research. I've pulled her away from research for quite some time. Out of, like, simple necessity. The drugs are currently out in the open, but we're working on the drug closet. I 
think I'm going to have Stormguard turn in, as it doesn't seem like there's enough numbers to warn her being out there. How's the old man's withdrawal coming? Let's see. So, 38% into his withdrawal, and I've been... He tried to go on a binge, but I kept it from him. So, uh, progress? And then as far as his needs go, being around the emanators is kind of nice. He's also body modder, please. So that's another, that's 12 total. Uh, our dining room is pretty decent. Dining slash rec room is pretty decent. It could be certainly nicer, but there's only so much I can do. Um, actually, one way to make it a slightly nicer is to put the, t the telescope indoors. Uh, because the telescope has, uh, is, you know, worth some money. Look at him making his own. He's like, I might not be allowed to drink the tea, but... God help me, I'm gonna handle it. Just don't even know what to say about that. Okay, we're at almost 300 zombies. And the threat's sort of holding. I don't see any zombies that are like... Base breakers. Big threats. So as long as we can get oh, but they're starting to they're starting to cluster and swarm. Ah, oh, Redfield, did you sleep enough? I'm gonna have to get you and Zeus in up. One thing that I should really focus on is high quality beds. Like, we do have masterwork beds, but like really high quality beds so that we don't have to sleep very much. Because, like, our people really aren't allowed to get very long winks of sleep before having to be redrafted. Having a larger uh, colony population will help with that as well, though. Because then people can take, like, shifts. Whereas currently we're not really taking shifts. We're just drafting them as needed. Alright, here comes the AO. Do I have a setup way to get sleep accelerators? Uh, sleep accelerators don't exist in this version of RimWorld. I don't believe, right? What DLC added to sleep accelerators? Was that ideology? I'm pretty sure. I get all the DLCs confused. Well, not the latest one. Biotech's recent enough, but ideology and, and royalty I get a little confused. Yeah, this uh, is completely vanilla room world, no DLCs, with only Zombie Land and a few UI mods, plus Dub's bad hygiene. It's very uh, purposefully, intentionally simplified. Let's go with the keep it simple, stupid principle. Can we use grenades and Molotovs? Yes. Yeah, grenades actually wouldn't be a bad call. Throwing it at the zombies. Um, we could try that as a tactic for sure. Make some frag grenades. Let's do it. Let's have Guero cook them up. That might even work better than um, the miniguns. The only issue, however, is we really should not throw them near our moisture pumps as that would be a very, very effective way to destroy our own infrastructure. So, while they're useful, um, they, I, I ought to be careful how I use them. Alright, how is your mental health? Y'all hungry? I got you. And then thirsty? Got you again. I could, uh, so fire is not effective against these zombies until the riverbed is dried up. Uh, they were in shallow water, 
So there's virtually no point in trying to set them on fire while they're wading hip deep water. They're just going to be put out constantly. That and I have a lot of very sensitive wooden walls protecting me from the zombies. So using fire out here is a really, really horrible idea is what is what is I'm trying to say. Um, frag grenades on the other hand is different. I can use frag grenades as long as I'm careful about where I throw them. They're, they could be pretty effective at clearing out groups. Just not fire until we have fireproof walls. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Zedites.